Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT for research purposes. For example, let's say I want to do research in online marketing. First of all, open your browser, then go to ChatGPT. Now let's say I want to do research in online marketing. Now I'm just going to ask ChatGPT some questions like let's say in online marketing getting space there is the biggest and for products after that just hit enter so here is chat gpt's response the biggest demand for products in the online market space can vary over time and across different niches and industries some key areas with high demand include e-commerce digital advertising content marketing email marketing, social media marketing, affiliate marketing, analytics, and data tools, and so on and so forth. Now, let's say I want to research about this particular point, let's say marketing automation. So I'm just gonna go for why marketing automation is in demand and what are their benefits. Fits. For that, just hit enter again. So here is a list of why marketing automation is in demand and what are its benefits. For example, it helps in efficiency, time savings, personalization, lead nurturing, better targeting and stuff. Now let's ask ChatGPT another question. For example, let's say, what is an ideal customer in an online marketing space? What is an ideal customer in an online marketing space so they are just enter again so here it has given me a summary and some different points for example in an online marketing space an ideal customer is often referred to as a buyer persona or the target audience and here are some key characteristics and factors to consider when defining an ideal customer in the online market space and here are some different steps, demographics, psychographics, pain points and challenges, goal and aspirations, buying behavior and so on and so forth. Now let's go for what are the struggles of an ideal customer. What are the struggles of an ideal customer? That just hit it again. So here are the struggles that ideal customers may face. For example, for financial constraints, lack of information, time constraints, decision paralysis, technical challenges, trust and credibility issues, pain points, and so on and so forth. Now let's go for some trends. Like let's say, what are the trends right now in online? marketing that just chat enter again so chat gpt has given me a list of what are the trends right now in online marketing for example video marketing content personalization voice search and seo artificial intelligence and chatbots user generated content influencer marketing content clusters interactive content so on and so forth so here is how you can do some research on a topic. For example, you're stepping in a new field, let's say, or let's say you're starting a new business or you're doing some other stuff. So you can get ChatGPT's help in this manner. So that's pretty much it. And that's how you can use ChatGPT for research purposes. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.